Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube, June 13th, 12 15 p.m. Central Time. Bitcoin on the two day chart. This is going to be a very interesting video, folks. I think we might see Bitcoin start to take off a little bit. And I think we might see the value of CKV to Bitcoin start taking off as well. Hear me out on this. This is a very important video if you're holding ckb we're gonna touch on bitcoin for just a second because this is very important what's going on in the market right now in the last video i was telling everybody how bitcoin has been getting great support at this 23.6 level now what we are seeing here is a green spinning top on a fibonacci time zone we still got about seven hours left. But in the last video, I was speculating how we need to see this price action squeeze up into this Fibonacci sliver. And I'm thinking within the next few days, by the 16th, we should have a clear direction of which way Bitcoin is going. But for now, things are looking on track for this squeeze. And we are really on the one day chart we are really starting to see this 50 start to push this 200 down and vice versa. Now for the bullish news, there was a comment and I, I apologize to whoever made the comment. These comments get buried because there's just so many of them. And, and so somebody had mentioned that they would like me to pull up a chart of CKB value to Bitcoin. And so I thought, well, that's a that's a pretty good idea. And we really haven't uh, brought this chart up. And interestingly enough, we can see something very bullish for CKB. We might see the value of CKB start to rise against Bitcoin. Now, folks, I want to go ahead and thank that person whoever it was that suggested I break down the chart if you have any other charts that you want me to kind of look at leave a message in the comments section below I do read them I'm not able to get to everyone but in addition to this golden cross we can also see something that's playing out long term and this is a symmetrical triangle formation and it's just kind of crazy to me how this is happening. So I think we might see the value of CKB start to climb here again if we can bounce off this 50 moving average. I'm very bullish on, on CKB right now as, as far as this value is concerned to Bitcoin. We can see the RSI stochastics are kind of right in the middle ground. So there's plenty of gas in the tank to move up. But I wouldn't be surprised to kind of see value kind of bounce up and down until October of this year. And that's when a decision will be made. Let's just kind of see if we can get any Fibonacci time zones here. Interestingly enough, we can see a Fibonacci time zone appearing here, warning us that something was about to happen. A drop off in value, same thing here. It wasn't quite on the nuts, but it was within a couple days. So that's cool. July 28th, we could see the value of CKB maybe wander down like this and kind of do one of these. And it looks like October 8th of 2021, we might be able to anticipate some value either going up or down with CKB to Bitcoin. So we will just have to play the waiting game as far as this is all concerned and i know i say that a lot but that's that's what good traders do they wait for the opportune time to trade you're not in and out of trades 24 7. but getting to the ckb chart we can see that where are you that we are still somewhat in this symmetrical triangle and we are still kind of bumping around in this thing. I'm hoping by June 20th, 
we can see CKB either pull a reversal or start climbing back upwards. There was one other thing. Sorry, I had to yawn there. I wanted to point out, and that was the possibility of an inverse head and shoulders here. Bear with me one second. Now we just need to see price action come up at some time and it, it might not be till October, or January of 2022, but we can we can definitely see where the value of CKB2 Bitcoin uh, could possibly be going if this inverse head and shoulders fills out the way I hope it, it does. You can see a very clear neckline uh, for the most part. So it'll be interesting, folks. That's really all I have for you guys today. I wanted to make a video. It's Sunday. I'm going to the lake. I'm going to try to get back to the office tomorrow and crank out another video for you. But it might be a few days before you hear from me. Peace out.